I know what you're thinking. Where has he been? In my defense, I won an Emmy while I was gone. But in all honesty, I took a break because I couldn't figure out why my quality always looked like this. But now that we got that figured out, thanks to today's interview, we're going to sit with, you know what? Roll the clip, right? So welcome to The Hideout. I have with me my boy, Burke. Um, and we're going to talk about some things that I think a lot of new PC owners should talk about and a lot of older PC owners already talk about, right? And that's computer optimization. So Burke here is a specialist. Um, he's been doing this since he was 12. You know, he currently works with Sense Quality, which is all over Twitter for whatever reason and whatever purposes. But for today, he helped push my Radeon 6700 XT and my Ryzen 5 3700X. Shut up because I know I need a new CPU. We're not here to talk about that. What we're here to talk about is computer optimization. So the first thing I want to do, Burke, is uh, give the people a little bit of background about you and why you're, why you're qualified to have this conversation. So uh, I built my first computer when I was about 12. I started doing overclocking and doing research on my own uh, about when I was 15. So I'm on about year eight of like in, in terms of enthusiast standards into, into it. Um, I've been doing it for Sense Quality for about eight months now. Uh, That's awesome. In terms of booking appointments and stuff uh, along that, those lines. But I've also worked on, I, I think, around 500 to 600 PCs over the past eight months. So in terms of crazy experience, um, not only is it, you know, like years of reading through forum posts and troubleshooting issues and things like that, but I think even just the past eight months and dealing with every combination of parts uh definitely definitely gives me a, a good perspective on on most most pc related issues and performance oh 100 percent. so uh for those of you um who don't know pc optimization is taking your current parts and, and kind of pushing them past their current benchmark so and what i mean by that is having that that little shove to the limit when you normally buy something either it's a car a pc or tv you got to go in and fix those settings right that's what burke specializes in so for me um I, I know you guys can see all these apps and the reason we're on this screen is so that you can see you know the this the different apps he used to get me to this point so my first question for people out there who have either just bought in a pc have owned a pc for a little bit and they have the same fear that i had do you think optimization is even important do you think it's something that we should even be T t fiddling with excuse me in the realm of you know gaming uh yeah i mean i think performance in general is obviously um popular as is like everyone wants the most performance out of the things that they pay for um and people should look into doing it on their own but at the same time it takes a lot of time and research and there aren't very many good resources in terms of what actually works and what doesn't work, especially when everyone's PC seems to, even at the, even PCs with the exact same parts, um, whether that be, let's mean like, if you were to have two exact builds, they may not function the same based on um, a number of different factors. Right. And so how people use it, and that's mean, they're all very unique in that sense. So um, it takes a lot of time to not only get familiar, um, especially like when coming into the PC world with how many different parts there are and what, like this mean like apps and what to look at and what means what for performance and so that's where right like the experience with you know working on that many pcs <laughs> and this long comes in handy right that's what you end up paying for which and which exactly so uh, I, i'm very candid with my experiences and with the bandits and the hideout so i paid 139 dollars i ended up finding the company through um, someone else's YouTube page, right? I'm not gonna give him a shout out because he said it was 20% off, but it was 10. You owe me $10. I don't know if you can see me, but you owe me $10, sir. Not Burke, the other gentleman. So with that being said, and we're talking about, you know, learning things on your own and you starting at 12, what is your, not necessarily, because I'm never gonna do this again on myself. If you guys could have seen the speed and the efficiency in which he, went about doing these things and i and i'm not talking like uh, how do i how do, i don't even know how to explain it i'm not I mean, talking I would say it's based on like this mean like there's some very basic certain things that that go into everyone's pc such as like windows settings background apps you know, yes. things like that that get yes. turned off um but right the going through it with the questions and what 
specifically um, you're using your PC for, that's the important part of like what questions to ask and what you're looking for in terms of performance and what's actually going to make a difference in like right day-to-day -day performance of streaming and also making sure that like there are no troubleshooting issues where the computer doesn't work or anything that like I'd be pushing it to a point that would require um, a ton of maintenance <laughs> for something that like, right, maybe you don't, you know, like have a care to like want to have, which is totally understandable because right. it's not, that's, that's what you're, you know, in like that's. No, no, you're, no, you're hundred percent exactly right. Cause a lot of people, PC. a lot of people, when they get PCs, they want to push a button. They treat it like consoles. When I first got my PC, you treat it, you push a button, you want to get on, you want to go play. Right. Um, my PlayStation five has been collecting dust since I started uh, my PC journey. So I think the things that you've taught us today have been very important. I think when you talk about optimization and you're talking about starting new, it's, it's a learning curve, obviously. Yes. Um, and it's something that you either have to have the want patience. to do, yes, the patience yes. and the want to do, or you have to say, hey, I got to go find Berkey, baby, and we got to do this because I'm not, right? Um, so as, as for me, and I'm honest with you, this has nothing to do with Sense Quality for me because I didn't get to talk to Sense Quality. I got to talk to Berk. I got to work with him for over an hour. And to be honest, 30 minutes of that was, was talking about the progression of technology and what I needed to do and how to, you know, the, enhance certain things. So I'm, I'm going to ask you one more question, two questions, mm -hmm. honestly, and these are personal yeah. questions. What's your current PC build? And then what would take that? So I want you to answer that. What is your current PC build? And then for someone looking to get into PCs, what is the build you can just throw off the top of your head for, for them? Sure. So it would basically be my computer right now that I would throw out as like a build for most people, in all honesty. Um, there's like some variants, but so I have a 5950X. Um, any of the AMD Ryzen 5000 series is going to perform um, great out of the box. Um, I have a 3080 Ti, anywhere from a 3060 Ti or above. Uh, definitely recommend if you're playing on 1440p. I definitely shoot for that 3080 or above range, so 3080 or 3080 Ti. 3080 Ti. Um, I have 3600 CL14 uh, G skill RAM, uh, which I have gone through and spent many hours tuning at this point. Um, <laughs> so the sub timings are a, a little bit less than they are at stock, but stock will do you just fine. Um, if you're looking for right that like 200 to 250, 260 in most modern games. That's I mean, like I was pulling like 450 on uh, Valorant the other day. Jeez. Uh, like 320 in Halo uh, right now. Okay. But um, that with any, I'd say any one terabyte 970 Evo, 980 Evo, a one terabyte S like NVMe to throw Windows on. Um, I would always, always recommend a good airflow case. Yep. Um, something with a mesh front panel. Uh, although they look pretty, those NZXT H510 cases, I know they just came out with an airflow version that has a mesh front panel, but those are a disaster. And they can, <laughs> I mean, like the case is important. The cooling for your CPU is really important. So uh, a, a decent AIO from a reputable company is always good. Um, and those are things that you should not cut corners on and your power supply. So I have an 850 watt uh platinum power supply um but yeah i mean overall i think that's the entire build okay but anything in that area i would say is definitely good so just to run through it real quick you'd want a 5000 series uh amd cpu and we're going to list this i'm going to have a list somewhere on this either on the awesome. screen as you guys see we're, we're gonna i got his contact info people so don't get scared we're going to list this if it sounded like gibberish it was because it's a bunch of ABCs. <laughs> yeah. Listen, we'll, we'll, I promise you we'll listen out. Very little to a lot of people, I'm sure. Right, so we'll, we'll make sure that that uh, information gets related. If you, uh, of course, you were, you were listing it out, so give us one more list of it. So uh, any AMD 5000 series CPU, um, X570 motherboard, uh, 3600 CL14 RAM from G-Skill, 3080 Ti, and a 980 Evo. For okay. And a... Uh, 360 millimeter Z73 Kraken cooler from NZXT. Oh, but okay. I would recommend that you go with the Corsair cooler because you have to run Kane the entire time with NZXT coolers. That's actually so. true. So um, so I'll w what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys his list and I'm going to try to find a couple budget-friendly options on the other side. We know how hard computer parts are to get right now. No one's, you know, shaking that tree, um, honestly. 
I think I think I want to thank you for your time today. I know you got a lot of appointments to get to. I appreciate the optimization. Yes, it makes a difference. Yes, we're going to get into it. You will see Berkey again because I have more things I need to do. And if you got anything you want the people to know, I can drop a Discord link for you if you'd like. I can um, open up. He, he's a busy man, so don't harass <laughs> him, people. And this is my first video back. Um, so comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitch. Do it all. Berkey, thank you for hanging with us, baby. Of course, not a problem. Thank you for having me. Yes, sir, brother. So after that interview with Berkey, baby, we went straight into rebirth to see if what we paid for paid off. And let's be honest, you know I be sliding and gliding, but it's a huge difference when you can see that 30 to 40 FPS boost just off of an optimization, right? Like currently my PC is being bottlenecked by my CPU, but who asked you? Nobody. So let's get into it. That's how we do it when we're cruising. I'm getting off topic. Watch it. I know it's been, been like a, a minute. A car in a junkyard. Crushed. Trash. Trash. <laughs> uh, let's swing bio. <laughs> mm, that's a little far. I'm going showers. Y'all love this dirty stuff. Y'all stay hey, trying man. to hit if showers. It ain't, dirty, it ain't me looking ass. <laughs> looking ass boy. Touch something in. What's yeah, that's what your motherfucking ass get for trying to oh, pick on me, on you no life stuff. motherfucker. Ooh, you just scared the shit out of me. I'm moving right to the motherfucking supply run. I got some supplies I need to run. Why? What is with this movement? Let me find out you moving at work. Nah, I'm moving like... Like I ain't got no motherfucking... I'm in danger. That probably wasn't. Bruh, you broke your leg. Yup, go ahead and waste that. Let me get my free kill. Turn Did y'all see the fucking turn? 